главный бой сегодняшнего вечера в полусреднем весе. Представляем вам его участников. Синий угол, бойцу 27 лет, рост 182 сантиметра, вес 77 килограммов 500 граммов. Профессиональный рекорд, 16 боев, 13 побед при трех поражениях. Из Москвы Виталий Жинкин Лев Слепенко. Красный угол, бойцу 30 лет, рост 177 сантиметров, вес 77 килограммов 600 граммов. Профессиональный рекорд, 14 боев, 10 побед при 4 поражениях. Из Москвы Гаджи Мурат Хиромагомедов. Рефери боя Максим Протасов. Maxim Pratasa will take charge of our co-main event here, this welterweight contest. And you look at the tail of the tape, height and reach on the side of Vitaly Slepenko, three years the younger as well than his adversary from Moscow here in Gajimora, Vera Magomedov. Vitaly Slepenko in the red Vera Magomedov in the red. And we are off, kicking it off, Slepenko. Slepenko right. Straight in the face of Gajimora, trying to pick the pace of this fight straight away. And he's got such an orthodox style. We've seen it in his fights previously, the uh, Artemek Mamashev one in particular, but now really full of confidence and just a very unique, very difficult style to prepare for, Brad. And rightly so, of course he's full of confidence. He, he, as I say, he's 4-0 e underneath the ACA banner and look great within those fights as well, growing in confidence. But like you said, we've seen it throughout tonight. Sometimes being too confident can be a, a, a curse as well. Oof. Six of Zepenko's wins are by finish. Three knockouts, three submissions. Oh, attempts the spinning back fist. The also the thing I like by Zepenko is actually good at, and very good in all areas as well. Oh, but look at this, Gachim, all right. He put his grappling on display up against... Oh, we're looking for the heel hook. Uh, the knee's clear here, he's going to be safe here. You see him turn around. <laughs> this is starting off at a, a fast pace, you know. Yeah. Like... And look at the dexterity there for Slipenko. Controlling that posture. Yeah, he's still trying to get this leg down here. The arm came out clear. Gadji Mora, this. When you look at his uh, credentials, many think he's a striker, but he has a combat sambo background. Yeah, he uses wrestling very well against Kitchikin in his last fight, who was a very dangerous striker as well. And good submission uh, expert as well. Kitchikin's certainly caught many people on the ground, but here we have Slipenko dealing with that top pressure now of Hira Magomedov. Oh, he's looking to feed that leg under, he might have that. Gajimora the wear of it. Yeah, he's trying to go for... Oh, trying to get that Goga. Uma Plata. Uma Plata, sorry. Yeah, he's got it. Very, very hard. Honestly, it's a very hard submission to finish without a key in, in MMA, but he can use it as a reversal. As that shoulder locks up behind the back. Oh, nice short shots. Look at these from Gadji Morad. His arms are out as well. You can see he's pretty much kind of arms are stuck in there, but there's no, yeah, no there's pressure no... on the shoulder at all. Gadji Morad trying to pick a spot to punch. He's trying to find the head. And it's hard as well. The other plant, you kind of need to sit up and stretch your legs out, but with the cage there and also. The position of Gadji Morad. Yeah, also Gadji Morad is standing very tall and upright, which he needs to do so. You can see his elbows out. Yeah. yeah. Where Sepenko's leg needs to be on the shoulder of how high he is. Still working that mid rift. Sepenko is going to have to let go of that wrist at some point, then it's going to be a scramble. Yeah. Oh, Morad does well, short knees on the inside there as well. Yeah, Vitaly doing a good job here of just kind of replacing some sort of guard here. 
Yeah, a real show of dexterity, flexibility there from Vitaly Slipenko. Maybe looking for that Kimura grip on the outside, can't quite see. Yeah, and this round's kind of just kind of brushing away as well. He's trying to, yeah, get Kimura trying to go for that cross wrist control. Yeah, as you said, the timing clicking, we're under one minute left of this first round here in our co main event. type of round that's going to take it out of you as well, Brad. Every position they're having to struggle and fight for to maintain or escape from. The good thing about this is he's making Gajimura work very well to try and keep him down. And Gajimura yesterday was the last man to step on the scales, stepped on, made the limit, only just needed the... Uh, Yes, it's towel to step on there. <laughs> but we knew we were counting the clock down. That wake up was extremely hard for him. <laughs> Little words on the end there between the two. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, like, like, like a Gamel Bravado sort of thing. Like I said, hey, you may hey, be. No corners gone in. No corners gone in. They just stay there. He's like, maybe he knows what he's doing. But it's one of those ones where it's like the old dog saying, hey, I know you're, you're young and new on the scene here, but hey, respect me sort of thing. And Slipenko refusing to take the stool, standing there right in front of Gajimona, the referee having to sort of keep him pushed back. It's just a mental yeah, game. I was trying going to on. look back at the action. I actually completely forgot how he ended up getting taken down. Good round, first round in, in, in the box. You're 100% going to give that to Gajimura. But but you see, Slipenko definitely wants to get in the face here of Gajimura now. Little mind games going on the corner. With the yellow again. hats on. <laughs> Stayed where they were. And the sport needs people like this, right? We need yeah. individuals. We need these unique personalities. And how lucky are we to be witnessing a fight between these two containing somebody like Vitaly Slipenko? <laughs> Look at the footwork. Yeah, good pressure here. He's trying really well on the gas tank of Gajimura. As we saw in his last fight, even though he won convincingly, he was getting very tired the more the fight went on. Slipenko, short jabs, one to the midsection. And if he wants to make Gajimura work, he's, he's got to step in, hasn't he, now? Yeah, he's got to put the pressure, but there needs to be, be aware of maybe Gajimura trying to get a takedown, because he, again, he controlled in the whole, the whole of that round on the, on the map. So he's got to feel confident when he does get the fight to the floor, if he can. The only thing I'll say about that position, it was an awkward spot, wasn't it? I know he put himself in there with the, the other plateau and ended up in that. Oh, left hand connects. You know, it's actually a little elbow. He stepped in with, with, with a lead elbow there. Very beautiful technique. That's the kind of thing as well. I love about the technique. He does have a, a vast array of... of, of, of Techniques where he throws different looks, southpaw, orthodox. He's almost, I don't get you more, it's moving and circling. He's almost giving him an extra breather here. If you want that pressure, you've got, yeah. you've got to make him work. Gajimora, now you see him like he's at that little extra break. It's very dangerous. He throws extremely hard with massive power in both hands. Oh, he was going on for the leg kick himself. He's these sort of main games that Vitaly likes to play, you know? Uh, I, I'm all for the mind games, but like you said, round one, you should, you've got to give to Kachimura Hiro Magomedov. So round two, you've got to make decisive. Yeah, but I think it's literally 
all Vitaly now. Vitaly is the one instigating and controlling this fight. And what happens, Gadget Moore is kind of just watching the Vitaly sort of show here, being caught up with what the sort of antics uh, Vitaly's doing and not really much coming back. But I also know Gadget Moore is a veteran. He's a combat, I mean, he's multiple combat sambo. Uh, he's competing in other martial arts as well, as well as mixed martial arts. He knows that first round could be his. He could be taking a breather now and thinking, right, I'll bring it in the third. You never know with with him. He's also a unique individual. But that's also a dangerous ploy as well, giving yeah. some, a youngster like Vitaly a little bit more confidence. Because Vitaly's in my eyes, 100% winning this round. Both rounds kind of move really fast for me. It's because it's fascinating. You're just drawn into it. It feels like anything could happen at any minute. And <laughs> a little bit of showmanship here, trying. Oh, that right connector you can see there, pouring the eye. The left eye is Gachi Morad. Trying to call on now here at Magomedov, looking for that connection, looking for the takedown. And he gets it, Brad. That's so Showboating's fine. Yeah. But that's. You've given up that position. And a minute in the round, a close round. I know you see uh, definitely the momentum. But there wasn't high output of connections no. there. It wasn't like big combinations, one significant strike. No, I mean, for me, Vitaly was definitely winning it on yeah, the feet. But agree. He's, just made, he's made this, he's made this unnecessarily be close getting, the, getting his takedown in this uh, yeah. part, of the, part of the round. It was good veteran sort of experience here, but bye bye. Glad you tried. And a good finish to the round. Yeah. 15 one of seconds is that, is that one take down enough to win this round? Hasn't done much since he took it down. But yeah, again, he's... He made it close. Let's see this time. If the corner go in. Stop! Again, they to each other. <laughs> a smile. Vitaly going over to his corner as well. <laughs> he wants to hear the tactics. <laughs> That's a different <laughs> way of doing it. Still, yeah, again, they don't go in. No water, no ice, nothing for Vitaly Slipenko. I don't even reckon he would have slept for the last week in preparation. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, he's, he's just so you? different. Yeah, it's very strange. Isn't it? Don't get me wrong. Like, it's fun to watch, but also from a young fighter's point of view, you need some sort of guidance within rounds and stuff like that. You know, I mean, like some silly decisions sometimes within that round could have cost him that round. You know, we just saw there on the replay that was that beautiful little elbow on the inside. And here's the end of the round. That drive, that takedown, that double leg from Gadji Morad. And that's where he sort it out. Yeah, again, we're in this position again, Brian, where arguably we could be 1 1 going into the third and final round. And it's just made fascinating just by what's going on. Yeah. And there you look at the, the stats Slipenko, 22 punches, 7 kicks, 14 to 5. Oh, he's coming out charging. Itching to get this going once more. Five minutes to play with Slipenko in the blue corner. Gachi Morad here and Magomedov in the red. Yeah, that's Slipenko now. He's got to be, be careful not to get taken down. As in, that, that's where he, he, he's been taken down in rounds one and round two and controlled when, when he has done, not managed to get back to his feet once. So you got to think early on in this round, if he does get taken down, it's not going to bode well for him. And Gachi Morad. The only losses he's got, I mean, he's got some very impressive wins. Elias Silverio amongst them, Arvia Guev. He's only lost to Abu Bakar Vagayev, the champion, and Ambed Bezan Ushugov. That's it, uh, within his ACA run. Good shot, very good shot there. Twisted the southpaw landing, good straight left. 
Still, with that unorthodox approach. But that's what led to the takedown, Brad. That's what opened it up. He stood there, called him on. And ended up on his back. He's definitely making this fight very interesting with his antics. It's fascinating to watch. You just can't take your eyes off it. There's so many questions and... No idea where we stand as far as the scorecards go. I want to go one more on the piece, uh, going into the third and final round. Even nothing special has happened for either fighter. It's not like, like a, a, a pivotal point where you're like, okay, this he's definitely won that round. There's nothing really. Bit of control in the first round by Gatchamore when he got the takedown. Second round. Bit of flashiness on the feet, but nothing landed really great. And a little bit of top control there by Gatchamore. So still, I'm still, I'm still kind of on the edge of my seat, waiting for something to happen here. You saw there with the striking stats output slightly higher on the side of Slipenko. But that's over the three rounds so far. Oh, that left hand, that's clean. That was nice. Slipenko ate it well, though. Yeah, again, this fight is slipping away, and, and like I say, I'm still waiting for that moment. Now, two minutes for something to happen. The left hook so far, the most significant strike, but more forward pressure, more output from the Slipenko, apart from that. And that left hook got landed earlier, there's opened up a cut. Yeah, only a little one, just a slight graze on the right side. At the face there of Slipenko. Again, looking for that step in elbow. Then the jump knee. Yeah, again, the volume, obviously, I think Slipenko's done throwing more and probably landing more, but the best shot of this round's been big Gajimora with that, with that left hook. Very stretched fight for me here, Brian, very yeah, stretched. Yeah, so many talking points, and some of them not even to do with the fight. The fact the corner hasn't been coming in. Is it, the, the, I mean, the, oh, to me, the whole fight still needs to, I mean, it feels like it's still has another gear or two, you know, it's like we're kind of stuck in first gear the whole fight. And only 50 seconds now. A couple of clock here by Gadji Morad. Yeah. A little up on the inside of uh, Slavenko. Let's see if he looks for a takedown in these final seconds. He's ended each round on top so far, and there you go. As I say that, total veteran move. That is a man who understands the importance of, of finishing, even, well, in a, especially in a fight this close, yeah. in a dominant position. And you see him flexing at the camera. Punching his bum as well. <laughs> there we have it. There was respect before, respect after. A fascinating bout for many reasons. Baffling in some. It, for me, the fight just never really got going. As in, like, there was a lot of showmanship. Yo, we've seen it all week. You know, the lead up to this fight, the showmanship, and the way in the showmanship, even within the fight, the showmanship, and then, you know, not going, and the corner come in, walk out. It just kind of never really got going for me, this fight. Total respect between the two. The judges will decide this one. What a job they have as well. Wow. Yeah. 
Let us see which way it goes. Uh, MC. Making his way into the cage now. Let's hand it over to him. Let's make it official. Итак, уважаемые дамы и господа, по завершении этого боя обращаемся к судейским запискам. Судья номер один, 29-28. Судья номер два, 29-28. Судья номер три, 29-28. Судья номер четыре, 30-27. И судья номер пять, 29-28. Единогласным решением судей победу одержал... Гаджи Мурат Хирам Магомедов! Красный угол!